The Matildas' Olympic hopes have suffered a major setback. Sam Kerr has sustained an ACL anterior cruciate ligament injury. For sports stars like footballer Sam Kerr, it's a devastating injury. There's a good chance you'll miss the remainder of the season. Typically, it means a trip to the operating theatre and nine months on the bench. It functions by controlling rotation. The ACL runs through the middle of the knee and helps to keep it stable. Until now, the accepted medical wisdom has been that once torn, it can't heal. It has been a myth that the ACL never heals. A myth that's now being challenged. Is it possible for a ruptured ACL to heal itself? Based on our recent research, I would say yes, it can. We can see that that healing... Researcher Stephanie Philbay reanalyzed the results of a trial of 120 patients, comparing the MRIs of those who'd had surgery with those who hadn't. So what we found surprisingly was that at two years after injury, in those who had only had rehabilitation, so no surgery, 53% had signs of healing on MRI. Personal trainer Danielle Anderson ruptured her ACL at a kickboxing class four months ago. My whole world came crashing down pretty much. She opted for rehabilitation without surgery and hasn't looked back. I had a follow-up MRI three months later, which showed a grade one tear. So basically, um, my ACL has reattached and is healing. The research found that patients like Danielle, who showed signs of healing, were happier with their knee than those who'd undergone a reconstruction. They reported better quality of life, better sport and recreational function, compared to those with a non-healed, and also the ACL surgery. Knee surgeon Justin Rowe says more data is needed before changes are made to the way ACL injuries are treated. History has shown us that the ACL doesn't heal reproducibly in all people. And that's the holy grail, predicting who it does heal in uh, and who it doesn't. For someone wanting to get back on the sporting field, Dr Rowe believes surgery remains the gold standard treatment. We can, with confidence, say to patients that with a successful ACL reconstruction, they can get back to sport 70 to 80% of the time. Stephanie Philbay says her results show similar rates of returning to sport for those treated with rehabilitation only. If you're told by your surgeon or your physio that if you ever want to play sport again, you need surgery, then it really does take away your ability to make an informed decision. That's pretty good, nice swelling. With or without surgery, recovery involves up to a year of rehab with a physio. Making that decision about surgery isn't urgent. You don't have to make that on day one. If they do take that option of rehabilitation alone, we do tell them you've always got that option of having an ACL reconstruction, primarily if the knee is not stable. Every year, more than 20,000 people in Australia rupture their ACL. Around 90% undergo reconstruction. It's one of the highest per capita rates of ACL surgery anywhere in the world. But whether all these surgeries are strictly necessary is a hot topic in medical circles. Yeah, it is concerning that there are too many ACL injuries and too many ACL surgeries. And for a high proportion of patients, upwards of 50%, they'll do just as well uh, without an operation. Dr Vitulo would like to see a national ACL injury registry to track outcomes and help patients like Danielle make more informed decisions. I think patients need to be given their options. One small ligament, one giant debate. Ursula Malone, ABC News.